centre drills are, are made for drilling <laughs> holes for centres um, in the end of a bar. Just grab this random. Yeah, even that, you know, if you want to support something in a lathe, you generally drill the end with a, a centre drill. Um, and the 60 degree angle on it is what you've got on the centre, it's what supports the, the work. And the pilot, I don't know, it gives you somewhere for uh, to put a blob of grease and stops the point of the drill, uh, point of the centre rather, from rubbing. But these are the sort of standard go-to if you just want to drill. For instance, I've got a, a job at the minute. Yeah, this piece is, um, has, a, has got to have a, an M4 hole drilled in the side to take a grub screw. And th the normal way I would do this, you can't drill straight in the side round pieces, you've got to spot the hole first. And what I would normally do is grab a centre drill and actually not one that small. That one, yeah I've just done this with this centre drill. Um, and if I'm going to tap a hole I like to do the chamfer at the same time so that you've got a bit of a lead for when the tap goes in. This is a screw that's going in there. Um, so yeah, we, we drill in a bit deeper than just the pilot so that we're actually using this taper. But 60 degree taper is it's not right really. 90 degrees would be fine. Um, and generally for spotting Even on this one, that's that's had the the, um, the point ground back quite a long way. You're drilling into something that you don't really need. You're kind of wasting time drilling the pilot when all you need is the the chamfer. And the point was made that the proper tool for the job is a spotting drill, like this. Which, when I were a lad, I don't think we had such things, but um, yeah, NC spotting drills. I think maybe NC is a clue that they were introduced for numerical control machines. And this is, I thought this was going to be a bit too large for the job, but it's been nicely thinned on the point. It's come in like that. So that's really quite sharp. And even on this tiny little hole here, let's get one that I've used used the spotting drill for. Yeah. So I've I've drilled the majority with the spotting drill. And yeah, you're not wasting time drilling the pilot hole, you're just doing the, the bit at the end, which is where your drill's going to locate. And in this case, I'm using it to, to do a 90 degree chamfer as well. Not recommended if you're following up with a carbide drill, but um, I'm only using HSS, so this is an okay way of doing it. Saves going in with a little chamfer tool or a little countersink afterwards. So yeah, we've got all these pieces have now either been done spotted with a spotting drill or they've been done with a centre drill. And I think the spotting drill is quicker. I have to look back on the video and see if there's, we can see a difference. Um, but yeah, we're wasting time with a centre drill drilling the pilot. On the other hand, you've drilled some of the hole that you're now going to go through with the drill. So it might be kind of swings and roundabouts, it could well be that the spotting drill was quicker to start with, the centre drill, drilled hole might be quicker when it comes to drilling through. We shall see. So the 
the first few holes I spotted, if you like, with a little centre drill. So now we're going to drill through with 3.3mm, see if it makes any difference. I don't suppose it will at this stage. Um, right. Well, the first one I thought was a bit of chatter going on as the drill was um, opening out the pilot that the centre drill put in. Um, the following ones didn't seem to be there. It was just down to me applying the right sort of pressure on the feed, I guess. Um, well, that's what we're aiming for before we go and tap it. So the first one's with a small centre drill. Opened it out with a slightly large, changed a slightly larger one for the next lot. So the pilot of the centre drill is pretty close to the size of the drill, so this should go just straight to the bottom virtually and then start drilling the rest of the hole. Let's see, let's clean that off a bit. I'm having a bit of hassle where the as the drill breaks through, it the burr then catches on the edge of our locating spigot. Um, I mean, two minds whether to get a dribble out and put a bit of relief on that. I'll leave it as it is because in pulling it off, we're kind of wiping the burr off the inside of the hole, which is a good thing. I think we'll see how we go. That one was actually one that was done with a smaller centre drill. Oh, that's the way to do that. Turn it and pull it off. Yeah, I'd got those mixed up. Some of the ones which had been done with the small centre drill were... Yeah. <laughs> you could feel the difference. It's it's really not a good idea to have your drill opening up a slightly smaller hole. Chatter starts kicking in. It's not going to matter with this, but no, not ideal. And we're now on to the ones which were just done with the spotting drill.
So, in conclusion, what do we think? Uh, spotting drills or centre drills? Because when the piece is finished, drilled and tapped, you can't tell the difference. And it's, it's kind of not made any odds what way it was done. But, yeah, I think you can tell, you could see that uh, the spotting drills is made for doing the job and it does a better job. Um, this one that I thought had come in with a, the point thinned, um, of course if it had come in like that it wouldn't have been silver would it? This would have all had the tin coating on it. So I've, I must have done this. Will that help much? I don't know, it probably did. And this cut very nice. Just doing that little bit of a spotting, chamfering at the same time. I mean, the set of drills did the job, and I think the uh, the one that had the same size pilot as the drill that we were following up with. Yeah, it took a bit longer to, because you were drilling the pilot hole, which, as I said before, you didn't really need it, but that little bit of extra time used on the centre drill, you saved in drilling afterwards, so there's not a lot in it. Um, and you've got 60 degree countersink instead of a 90 degree with one with that. Can you tell the difference? Nah, don't think so. The only thing I would say is that drilling it with a smaller one wasn't that one, was it? It was this one that I also tried. That really wasn't nice at all. Um, going through with the drill after having that diameter pilot was was just not nice. You're not taking enough metal out. The drill kind of uh, digs in, chatters a bit, but for HSS, yeah, that is not a good option. That works, and what would also have worked would have been to have used a much larger centre drill, where the pilot is bigger than the the spot that you want. So that would have worked as well. But yeah, all in all, I suppose. This is the right tool bit for the job. But if you haven't got one of those, in this case, on this job, that worked fine. It's what I would have used in the past. Um, little ones, nah, don't go there. Forget that. Um, but yeah, you get away with this. The spotting drill, yeah is the right thing, really. Oh, and of course, the big plus of using a spotting drill is it doesn't have a pilot that can snap off. So, a win for spotting drills.